Good Tuesday morning, my all church family and friends. Hope everybody's having a great start to the week and continue on with devotion. Um, Tuesday morning here, lost my place there just a second. I was trying to get my screen pulled up. So I hope you got to be with us Sunday. And as we shared the message, the anchor holds and talked about the four anchors. Um, so... The devotion, the anchor that I want to share during the devotion here is uh, I talked about the third anchor being the anchor of renewal. Uh, so Acts chapter 27, and, you know, we, we've already given the background, and I know Pastor give the give another good background with his devotion Monday. And uh, we've, we, you know, we know Paul's, he's, he's been, he's on this ship and he's got, you know, there's 276 people on this ship. There's soldiers, there's workers there's you know it's a cargo ship and 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 they've set sail in a time when they shouldn't and um we know that this storm hits and they're afraid they're about to crash and uh paul's in the bottom of the of the ship and pastor talked about you know coming up and in his devotion monday he talked about him coming up and talking about that he believed god and of whose he was and and whom he served um and so after that Paul spoke to them in verse 33 and verse 33 through 36. And he said this, and while the day was coming on, Paul besought them all to take meat, saying, this is the 14th day that you have tarried and continued fasting, having taken nothing. Wherefore, I pray you to take some meat for this is for your health, for there shall not a hair fall from your, from the head of any of you. And when he had thus spoken, he took bread and he gave thanks to God in presence of them all. And when he had and when he had blessed it, he began to eat. And so we talked about that Sunday. Um, and, and in the midst of that, we talked that our journey that we're on, it's tough. You know, sometimes our journey's tough. Sometimes we get worn down. Sometimes we get weak. And, um, you know, and there's times that we do have to be renewed, um, you know, and kind of like if you want to think about a revival with that. Uh, but there's times that we need to be renewed and in times when we just, you know, we feel like um, not necessarily, uh, you know, we all feel like we're emotionally drained, right? Sometimes we're physically drained, uh, but sometimes we get a little spiritually drained. Uh, sometimes we get to the point where we're spiritually drained. And that's where I wanted to go with this point Sunday. And I, I don't know if it, if it come out that way or not. I told, told someone Sunday afternoon, uh, I said, I feel like that's the, the quietest that I've ever uh, heard of church when I was preaching. So uh, not sure that I've I done a very good job Sunday. But, um, you know, we, we do need to be renewed and spiritually we need to be renewed. Paul encouraged them to eat. But, you know, the first thing he did, if you notice there, and I talked about that Sunday, was he, he gave thanks and he blessed, he blessed that. He gave thanks to God in the hardest of situations. Paul still knew to give thanks. Um, and it's it's so hard for us to do, right? It's it's easy for it's easy for the pastor to get up there and preach, right? And I can preach to you on Sunday morning and say, Yeah, just be happy and give thanks. It's easy for me to get up there and preach that, but it's kind of hard when you're really living that, um, to be able to give thanks. And I understand that. I, I really do. I've I've been there. But we've got to give thanks. God says give thanks in all things, right? That's, that's the way we're taught uh, and what he wants us to do. So at first he gave thanks. He says, and when they ate, when they were renewed, they were all of gear, good cheer. So it lifted their spirits, even in the worst situation that they were in, all those other people that were with him that were ready to jump ship and, 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 and leave, uh, and were scared and were worried. And, and, you know, they've been doing all this work and they think they're about to lose everything. They're losing hope. It says they were of good cheer when they were renewed. When they were re re nourished, they were of good cheer. And I talked a little bit Sunday about prayer and God's word is our personal nourishment during the storms of life. And I can't stress that enough. Um, you know, I mentioned Sunday that I can't always be there. TJ can't always be there. Jason or Tommy, um, your friends and your family, as much as they want to be there or try to be there, there's still times when we go home. There's still times we lay down at night. And there's times that we just feel like we're all alone. Um, but in the storms of life, 
your prayer life is always there. God's word is always there. God's never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. So we can go to him to be renewed. And the last point I brought up was 1 Kings 19, 7. And I give the example of Elijah and the contest on Mount Carmel and what he had done. But the very next day, um, you know, he was running for his life. And the angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. Without our nourishment in God, without being renewed in him, uh, through our prayer, through God's word, through our worship, um, through um, through our community service with each other, uh, gathering together on Sunday morning, Sunday nights, Wednesday nights. Uh, without that, the journey is too great. Okay, so be renewed today. If you, if you feel like you're just spiritually drained, um, seek renewal. Seek renewal through God's word. Seek renewal through God's prayer. Seek renewal through God's people. Um, all those things will will give you hope, and they will they will remove the fear and put good cheer back in your life. Okay, hope that was a devotion or something that can stick with you, you all this week. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day, a great rest of the week. Remember to pray for me, and as always, I'm praying for you. God bless.